This section will cover SSO and 2FA, single sign-on or two-factor authentication. This is all controlled through your admin and then with your resources. Now, since Autodesk lives in the cloud, I don't want to say everybody has access, but you need to have lots of security. This is where all your data lives, but also there's a lot of data of your clients. So you need to make sure that this uh, access to the system is, is well protected. I hope you guys all have a strong password setup to be able to get into the, to the system for your resources, but we strongly recommend to set up a second layer of protection. SSO is one, uh, 2FA is another one, like I said. And here in the users, we have the section that says security. Here you can enable the two-factor authentication. Once you enable it, it starts rolling in some stuff, and then you have a couple of extra options. Two-factor authentication, you can use uh, basically any uh, TOTP service. You have Google, you have also Microsoft Authenticator that works, uh, and that is basically when you do. This is only going to work when you don't have SSO. SSO requires you to set up a different setting, and uh, Autodesk has some detailed technical explanations on how that all works. So once you do SSO, this two-factor authentication will be disabled. But guess what? When you enable SSO with, for example, you do Office 365 and you have that set up with your Active Directory, uh, the, for the users to go into Autodesk, it's of course a single sign-on, so that's much easier. But on top of that single sign-on with Microsoft Office, you can also do a two-factor authentication. And basically, you get uh, the benefit of both worlds. So you use that one from your single sign-on. Um, there's a couple of more details here on this particular item too on a security level that has to do with the security level. In this case, it's an administrator. We chose the system administrator at security level. But there's going to be a separate video that will explain everything about how to set up these security levels. And also we'll go into much more details on setup, setting up these resources with these other tabs. For now, we just wanted to point out to you for the, the, the security, the single sign-on and two-factor authentication. And in the comments, we'll put a, a separate link uh, into the current Autodesk link of the help file where they have all the technical details.